This video is brought to you by catbeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna show you tips and tricks for piano roll. And I'm gonna show you a few things that you might not know about piano roll. By the end of this video, you should be a piano roll pro. Also check out the sponsor of today's video, which is cutpiece.com. It's a site where you can make your own custom hats. So if you are interested in that, link will be below in the description. Now let's get back to the video. To open piano roll, just right click on the sound, piano roll, bam. This is where we're gonna spend most of our time right now. So, a lot of you struggle with making melodies and chord progressions, so there is one huge tip I can give you right now for that. Are you shit at making melodies? Have you been struggling to make a good chord progression for hours, but you keep failing? Well, worry no more. Ultrax Melody Cream. Simple solution for all of your problems. Does anyone remember that video? But no, in all seriousness, if you do struggle with making melodies, here's a little quick tip you can use. And that is going to the piano roll menu, go to helpers, scale highlighting and choose automatic. Now, nothing changed as you might have noticed, but once you start putting down some notes, it will make a difference. So let's actually create a few bass notes. And as you might have noticed, once you put in the third note, it has enough information to determine what type of scale you are in. And from that point on, you just put the notes on the grid where it is grayed out a little bit more. So these are all good for this key you are in. So for example, let's put the notes like this. And now let's put in the melody, some sort of melody. So just stick to the highlighted parts of the grid. and let's create this melody. And as you might have noticed, once we created the melody, the key of the song changed. Therefore, the highlighted parts changed a little bit. For example, this one is now off key because it's not on the highlighted part. Before, it was fine, but once you add more notes, it changes the scale. So now let's move this one down. Or maybe even down here on the highlighted parts. And let's hear the type of melody we created. So yeah, that was really simple. It's a great tip for everyone who has trouble creating good chord progressions and melodies. Now that we have this simple melody with some bass notes, let's add some chords. So to do that, use the stem tool, which is this icon right here, click on it, and now you can create what type of a chord you wanna make. So let's choose major and just create it right here. Then let's do a minor chord and put it right here. As you can see, something changed right there. But the only reason that happened is because now the chord is selected. Once you deselect it, it changes back. So don't worry about that. If you want to create multiple chords and you don't want to like keep going to the stem tool, just deselect the only one, then select the minor chord and you can put it in here multiple times. And as you can hear, this one doesn't quite sound right as the minor chord. So let's change that to major chord again, delete this one, put in the major chord. Just like that, we have ourselves a little chord progression with some melodies in the key of F major. You can see the key in top left corner of FL Studio. That's where it shows. Okay, to make this piano seem more natural, we can actually randomize the velocity. So select the top notes only for this experiment and go to tools, which is this icon right here. Then go to randomize and only have the levels enabled. And as you can see, you move the velocity, it randomizes the velocity of the notes and make them seem more natural. You can also disable the bipolar, which will only make them louder. And if you enable it, it will make them louder and quieter. So yeah, let's just have it like this and press accept. Another tip you can use is use the slice tool and hold the alt key so you can slice anywhere in piano roll and just slice it up like this and press delete, we're gonna have some nice rolls, which feels more natural. So just like that. This one is actually quite offbeat. So you can use control, press mouse and drag it to select. And then to move it, hold alt key and you can move it even off the grid. Also let's select all our chords and randomize the velocity once again, 
just a little bit something like this maybe except Another thing you might notice, you can resize the notes from the right side, but you cannot resize them from the left side, which I think is kind of annoying. So you can actually enable that. Just go to the menu, edit, allow resizing from left. Now you can resize notes from both sides, which is a really nice little tip. Now let's actually reset these by selecting them and pressing Ctrl Q, which means they will stick to the grid as they are supposed to. And I showed you the slice tool before, but we can actually use the strum tool. Just select the chords, play the song, and go to strum. And just uh, increase the time. Maybe change the end time as well. That's another way we can do this as well. Now, as you can see, once if you use the stem tool, the chords stick together. If you want to ungroup them, just select them, go to group, ungroup, and now you can freely move any notes wherever you want. So, one tip I want to show you is when you have some notes selected, you can press Ctrl and arrow up or down to put them octave up or down. So let's put them octave down. And now another way you can select notes is holding control and shift together and then pressing mouse and dragging it to select the middle notes and then hold control, arrow up, to create this chord progression that has the middle notes octave higher. Now it sounds like this. So that's another shortcut you can use that helps a lot. Alright, so let's uh, reset the chords once again. So let's say you want to copy your chords over. The easiest way to do that is to hold Ctrl, select them, and then Ctrl B that will copy the chords over after the first selection. So that's the easiest way to just copy them one after another. You don't have to worry about like not hitting the grid properly and stuff like that. So let's delete the melody for now and let's put the chords octave up. So one of the things we can do in FL Studio is to arpeggiate these chords. So let's play them and go to arpeggiate. Now we have this arpeggio just like that. Also you can use different patterns that are here. So yeah, arpeggios are pretty nice. If you want to quickly transform your chords into a melody, arpeggio is a good way to do that. Now let's bring the melody back. And so one of the things, what if we want these chords to be like one after another like this? So I just did that. It took a few seconds. But what if we have way longer melody chord progression and with different science notes, it would take a while to do that. So what you can use is the chop function. So just go right here to chop. You can select again. You can select you can select from different chop rhythms and you can even create your own. So those are chops. Let me actually just decrease the volume. Hold shift to have the volume the same. So now, what if we want to make this way faster? One of the things you can do is select the whole thing and then you have this arrow. So if you drag it, you will make it slower. If you drag it to the left, it will make it faster. And also if you hold Alt Q while dragging it, it will snap to grid and make it a bit easier to set up. So let's make it like this and now it will be pretty fast. So maybe we want it like this. That brings me to another point, which is time signatures. Now this is not the usual time signature, so you can actually change the time signatures in time markers, add time signature change, do like three, four. And now as you can see, 
it almost seems like this is the correct one. But if we put it in the playlist, it won't end on the correct beat. We would have to change the time signature in here as well. But in piano roll, it makes a lot more sense and the grid is set up so we can work in this time signature. And the last thing that I can show you is another shortcut. Hold shift and arrow up or down to transpose the notes up or down. And hey guys, that is a few piano tips and tricks. I hope you learned something new. I think there is a lot of things in FL Studio that a lot of people don't know about and it's always good to explore them and show them to you. You might want to watch this video a few times to like remember all these things and make sure to use them to really remember them and hopefully it will save you some time in the future. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.